Ah, mission statements. Every corporation and department seems to have one. Why would I want to have one? Because it spells out clearly what I want to accomplish here. It gives me criteria for self-evaluation. It gives you a chance to tell me when I've drifted off message. It's how I know if I'm making any progress in pushing back the pseudoscience and superstition. So here it is, my mission statement. To promote critical thinking, reason, and logic through the process of open investigation without prejudice, and to do so with compassion, honesty, and a recognition of the diversity of views. Let me go over each of the phrases to clarify. To promote critical thinking, reason, and logic. Notice that I make no reference to any particular conclusions. I would like this channel not to be about atheism or conventionalist science or particular political viewpoint. I want it to be about the best process for arriving at a reasonable and logical position. If we start out as advocates of any particular viewpoint, say atheism for example, then we run the risk of allowing our conclusion to precede our search. I don't want to exclude or ostracize anyone with a differing viewpoint so long as they arrive at it by a process of thoughtful examination and reasonable argument. Through the process of open investigation without prejudice, for each new project I intend to present the evidence in a way that is only balanced to the arguments or facts. I won't promise to give equal time to both sides of a debate if the evidence seems to point in one direction. It would be the fallacy of false balance if I did. I realize that it's never quite possible to remove my own biases from the equation entirely, and I don't intend to hold back when I have my own perspective on an issue. It's my channel. I'll give my opinions. And to do so with compassion, honesty, and a recognition of the diversity of views. I'll give everyone a chance to join a productive discussion. I'll be honest when I don't have the answers, or when I make a mistake, and I'll be compassionate for the suffering of those affected by pseudoscience. This doesn't mean that I'll coddle people's feelings, or allow endless posted links to internet pseudoscience sites, and I just don't respond to abuse or insults. My mission here is outreach, not debate or flame wars. That's enough self-indulgent navel-gazing. I promise to only do this once. I want to end on one of my favorite quotes from Carl Sagan, from The Demon Haunted World. There are no forbidden questions in science, no matters too sensitive or delicate to be probed, no sacred truths. That openness to new ideas, combined with the most rigorous, skeptical scrutiny of all ideas, sifts the wheat from the chaff. It makes no difference how smart, august, or beloved you are. You must prove your case in the face of determined, expert criticism. Diversity and debate are valued. Opinions are encouraged to contend substantively and in depth thanks for watching every cell of each plant and animal contains genetic information coded onto the dna molecule